G'day tubers. Right, now I'm working out the difference between this device and this device. Namely that figure there, the 1455, and that discharge figure of, on the, just, well, just going to refer to this cell here, but on this one, the 2031, and that's still de it's still increasing because it's still testing. Now this one here is um, discharging at one amp, that's the maximum it can discharge. Now I've done 300 plus cells with this one and I've discharged them at 2 amps. So there's a difference in capacity between the two. So what I've done is I've gone through and double tested each one. Where's the camera? There it is. So that's 20, uh, despite what that looks like, it's 2525. Now that's done with this charger and it's got a capacity of 2112 done with this charger or discharger as the case may be. So the top one is done at one amp, the bottom one is done at two amps. Now, my inverter is a hundred amps DC draw max. Um, that's 2,000-ish watts, 2,400 watts or something. And I'm not really gonna go near that. So the actual discharge of the batteries is only gonna be half an amp, if that. So the, the draw is gonna be relatively little. And as I grow the grow the battery pack it's going to be even less again so the load on the battery is not that high so i, I that one there is probably going to be a more realistic figure in my situation not everyone's just mine so what i've done is put the differences so that one there is that's 413 milliamps difference 380 uh, 383 i don't know if you can read that on camera uh 403 424 416 454 408 278, 277 and 348. Now I've done a lot more than that. Um, there's, a, there's a heap here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue testing them the same way but I'm going to take what, what, what do you reckon? Put it in the comments below. Do I just say take three or four hundred off? The average is about oh, 350. So maybe I take 350 off the results from that one, and that way I'm going to still build a relatively balanced battery pack. So let me know what you think on that. I think I think that's a fair assumption. I've done the math, well not done the math, but I've tested and retested. I've spent two days testing cells, and I always come up with sort of 450 to 250. 250, that's actually the lowest one I've ever gotten. Um, the fact that there's two together, I just picked those two out for, for that fact. Um, I've also got another smaller problem, which is this one here doesn't stop when it's finished discharging. So at 3.7 volts or 3.6 volts, not under load, it's 3.2 volts under load. Then it just turns around and charges the batteries back all the way up again. If I don't hear the, the, the sound, which if I'm asleep I don't, I don't hear the sound, I've got a whole bunch of batteries here and there's there is there is quite a few there there's 10 or 12 there um, I now have to go through and discharge those batteries back to 3.7 volts 3.6 volts 3.6 volts I think so the way I'm doing that is a, bit, a little bit of redneck I've got to keep all this stuff cool so what I've done is I've just hooked up three batteries to make 12 volts and whacked it, oh geez I just yanked it, and just whacked a dodgy old computer fan. Now that has two benefits, one it gets these batteries back down to the voltage that I want and I just constantly check them with that, it's a little bit labour intensive but it takes, so far it's taken four hours and it's only taken half a volt out, so they're discharging nice and slowly but, pan back over here, all this gear gets really really hot, especially this one. So it has an added benefit where it keeps all the stuff cool and I can do three at a time every few hours, so that's more than enough. You know, it won't take me long to catch up. So a little update on the inverter. That makes this process feel real. That makes the process feel like I'm going places. I got a return address. Um, the BMS has been sent back and I'm just waiting on them to contact me now, which I'm really, really happy about. That's going to take a month or so, but you get that. But this gives you a bit of an idea of how many cells I've, how I still have left to process. These two battery banks here are both done. That one's a 21 or above and that one's a 2000 or above. Um, and the reason why these, these are all set up like this is because they're all blue batteries and I'm going to turn them over on their side so they'll be blue 
all the way around the outside just for aesthetics so uh, I am going to do them in, in um, 80 packs so 80 pack there and 80 pack there just so I can turn them over on the side put a strap over the top of them and there's less stress on the batteries on the corners from the weight so it'll only be about uh, so three and a half three, three a bit more than three and a half kilos with each battery pack uh, I am a bit concerned about how heavy that inverter is I didn't think it was going to be quite so heavy um, so it's going to take some 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 setting up on the wall I was thinking about buying a bit of timber because I can't really do it on my coffee table and actually screwing it all down and doing a dry mock-up first which probably makes sense um, and I also don't have enough clearance along the bottom here because the hot air blows out this way for some reason you know you'd think it'd go out the top but for some reason it blows out the bottom I'm pretty sure well my old one does I'm fairly sure that one will do the same thing so it's going to be blowing hot air over these batteries so I might have to split these battery banks in half and sort of put four along the bottom which will also work quite well um, now there's also two vents here and here up the top now I don't know whether they suck cold air in or or push it out but I guess I'll find that the first time I turn it on so I've brought the batteries down as far as I can so I might have to make it a little bit the board a little bit bigger which I didn't really want to do because I wanted to keep it power wall ish size but that's it for now guys um, I really appreciate all the subscribers and all the all the comments and stuff below um, there's some people that have really put some um, effort into helping me which is you know you know who you are um, you know the help that you've provided and the, the, the good ideas so keep them all coming thanks have a good weekend cheers hey YouTube this has been a bit of a long one but as you know the first Telsa Powerwall has been in installed and is running and operational in Australia. Now that is just a few k's down the road from my house, so about 11 k's or something. So I went down there yesterday, did a did a bit quick drive by, and they've got all security gates and stuff like that. So I didn't bother knocking. I didn't want to, but uh, yeah. Um, I've also tried calling them up and getting an appointment to go and have a look at it, but they're not answering the phone. So <laughs> I'm going to persist with that. I. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harass them I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna be some sort of weird stalker but it'd be kind of cool if I could get out there and get myself a selfie with it okay cheers for now YouTube I'll see you on the next one